Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the MHSAA. It's been a very busy and hectic day here. As you know, this has been uh, the day we release all the reclassification numbers and also the regions for each sport. I wanted to do this podcast just to tell you those the, the classifications are up on our website and most of the sports are already up. So you can go to our website and scroll down and, and look at the new classifications, which include the 7-8, uh, and then also the regions that every, everyone is being placed in in each individual sport. I would like to remind you that when we went to 7-8, uh, the numbers we reflected are only for grades 9 through 11, and we take the top 24 schools or 7-A, the next 24 or 6, the next 24, Schools uh, attendance-wise are 5A, and then uh, 2A through 4A has approximately 40 schools in each region, with 1A having 46 uh, because some of them don't play all sports. One of the things unique about the regions this year is uh, we've made a commitment to put schools in regions in basketball, football, baseball, and softball that they would all be in the same region. An example would be uh, Region 1, Class 3A. Uh, all those will remain in the same region for the sport. Now, you'll, when you look at all the regions, you'll see that some of the football regions may have four, while a softball or basketball region has five. That's because all those schools do not play football, but they will be matched up against the same schools. So keep that in mind. Uh, for, for the schools, when you, you look at these, uh, look at them close. So we do have an appeal process. If you want to appeal the region that you're in, uh, send that to us in writing before the end of the day next Friday. And uh, we will notify you of what day the appeal will be made on. These regions were done by mileage and the closeness of schools. Uh, we think we've got a good plan and put it together. The board approved those today. So uh, good luck to you and uh, good luck in the playoffs. Thank you.